Oh, I didn't see you come into my very private bathroom. D did you want to join me in the shower? Because I am not comfortable with that. Here, let me get the shampoo out of my eyes. What are you looking at? This little hole behind me? Ah, uh, yes. It is a secret cave beyond the waterfall. And in this cave, there is treasure. Really disgusting treasure. Rotten flesh and bone? Good lord. The mob farm, like all of my projects, is a complicated mess. There are only four floors, and only one of them is specifically for creepers with, uh, you know, with carpets and trapdoors, etc. Uh, because I only need so much gunpowder, but the other stuff can be useful as well. And it works as a low-budget XP farm. So that's my secret mob farm cave. It's right here uh, next to the iron farm. I still want to build a structure around this farm. Um, but today is going to be a very chill and exciting day. Both of those adjectives at the same time, because I'm going to be doing a pretty serious uh, landscape redesign here in the crater. Uh, terraforming, as you extraterrestrials call it. I'm going to terraform the uh, crater. I want to build, you know, uh, walkways and bridges. I want to do something with this uh, pool here. Uh, just there's a lot that I want to do. I want I want to just make it uh, more traversable and, you know, natural pathways as well. Uh, honestly, there's, it's going to be a pretty serious redesign uh, of this area over here as well. Let me just swim over here. Over here as well, I think, you know, this is really overlooked uh, by me. And I need, I could do a lot in here as well. So all of this. By the way, have I showed you my new friends? Oh, look, I got some scoots. <laughs> They're very cute. <laughs> Your little feet. They have a baby around here somewhere. It's probably grown up and wandered off. By the way, yeah, behind me there, I do have a mangrove. Uh, a wandering trader was selling propagules, so I, uh, I bought the, um, well, I bought one. And I've grown a tree. I haven't cut it down yet, but one of my favorite wood types. This with the new tough bricks, I bet is gonna look amazing. Um, before I uh, begin terraforming the crater, there's something else I want to do first, and that is uh, light up this whole area. And by area, I mean this entire landmass and every cave below it. All of the plains biome and the forest surrounding my crater, as well as lighting up the crater. So I need to craft about 10,000 torches just to make this uh, entire continent safe for me and my captives. I mean my fellow villagers, whose lives have improved immensely since I came here. So I have, uh, I have been making charcoal, because <laughs> I think that's just the quickest way to do this, quicker than, um, than mining. It's quicker than mining, and you can see I had a full chest here. Uh, well, I don't have a full chest, but um, I will get a full chest. I'm going to have to make a lot of sticks as well. Uh, so there's that. You know what I mean? We need these also. So we'll see. I, I think I can get quite a few torches here. I'm going to be working on that for a little while. And, um, you know, we're going to light it up. And now it's time to adjust the landscape pretty significantly, uh, at least here in the chasm. I have to dam up the water first, get this torrent under control, and I begin adding some greenery in the form of moss. I find out quickly that my chests are just too far away, so I make this temporary chest room. That's why I'm just putting the chest down without any consideration of interior design, uh, but that will change. 
Let's cover up the iron farm with a lovely build. I'm using polished diorite and uh, that'll also change. This is how I build. I just sort of feel it out as I go. It's very industrial. Not the real vibe I wanted for the overall aesthetic down here in my hole, but it makes sense for this particular farm and well, I like the way it looks so, so there. I got a little sidetracked through all of this and I tried decorating the bottom area here. I wanted to sort of a, a I wanted a, like a tiled plaza kind of, someplace where people will eventually gather, maybe have a market or whatever. I was just playing with some ideas. You'll see it change over time. Also the storage room, it needs to look a little nicer. I was still thinking that this is temporary, but that doesn't mean it, it needs to look like stir fried garbage. I think this is a good place to pause the uh, renovation of my uh, chasm here. This space here is going to be my sort of semi-permanent base. I might build elsewhere, uh, but I, I think this is, uh, yeah, you can kind of see from here. I think this cliffside, just taking over all of this and in the back, I mean, I'm pointing to the cliff, but I mean behind the cliff as well. Um, there's a pretty big cave system back here, so I can really hollow this out pretty easily, and that's the same everywhere. When I made the mob farm, I, I kept breaking into caves, which was good because it's that I have that much less to excavate. So what's next? Why did I stop? I've barely done anything. I know I'm getting overwhelmed. It's such a big space. But here's the thing, even though I'm not sure about, like I'm not sure about the sandstone. I'm not sure about the polished diorite or the glass panels here. I'm not sure about any of it. I'm not, I'm really uncertain as to what this should look like. <laughs> Here's the mine shaft. That has to change. I don't know why, why didn't I just start mining over here? Why did I have to do it in the middle? It doesn't matter. I'm just yelling at myself. I'm going to put a bunch of images up on the screen to give you an idea of my inspiration, where I'm going with this and what I want to do here. So this is Imperial Boy. Uh, I have the artist's real name here somewhere, but it doesn't matter because you won't find their artwork. The handle they use is Imperial Boy. I don't know much about them. They're kind of mysterious. It looks like they're a concept artist that works for an anime studio. It's very like Studio Ghibli, but it's not that, I, for sure it's not that studio. I, uh, they worked on like uh, Tekken, I don't know. Uh, but this is like, this is pretty close to what I want the chasm to look like. Um, there's also the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which is a, a kind of mythical, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's not really mythical, but we're not sure where it was exactly. It's one of the only seven wonders where we don't know where it was. Uh, the image I'm showing is an etching from the 19th century um, based on written descriptions of the garden. It was just a tiered garden. It is said that from a distance, it looked like a mountain, uh, like a forested mountain. But then you get closer and you see that it's a man-made structure. I also read that it was made out of mud bricks. So specific. <laughs> And that's a block we have in Minecraft, so that's actually kind of useful information. The other inspiration to transform all of this is just actual real cities uh, like Singapore and uh, some European cities uh, like the Netherlands has a lot of solar punk cities. Not really solar punk, but certainly uh, cities that are embracing sustainable materials and renewable resources, renewable fuels. But really the biggest uh, thing that connects all of those inspirations together aesthetically is the greenery. They're very green. These cities like Singapore and the Hanging Gardens and uh, the, you know, the image by Imperial Boy, it's all green. There's a lot of rooftop gardens. I almost put greenery on top of the iron farm, but I kind of like the, I like this roof and I like the industrial look of it. Like I said, this is going to be one of the only structures that isn't necessarily solar punk looking. It's really hard to get a good look at this. Um, 
but that's fine. That's actually part of, that's sort of the point because it's meant to be sort of crammed in here. Um, it's really just u- utilitarian. It's not meant, I, I didn't build this for aesthetic purposes. I built it for iron. Uh, so I like it. I, I am pretty happy. This is truly successful. I'm really happy with this. I don't think I'm going to touch it. I wanted to build a crop farm down in the chasm where the villagers are constantly throwing veggies at each other's faces. That meant grabbing some of these morons. You know what's nice about building in a depressed area like this? I can just drop villagers down in boats. I make a temporary breeding room down here. That way I only need the two villagers to begin with and then I can just like get them hot and bothered over agriculture. But this is an absolute nightmare. They just want to play in the waterfall. Look at this madness. At the risk of sounding like a complete psychopath, I just wanted to set them on fire and watch them burn. But I did get them inside their jail cell. I don't know if you're... I can trust you to raise a child. You've got a baby and a composter. Just letting them jump on a bed. Whoa! I don't have any footage of me building this farm, uh, but it's a standard one. I think I watched Turtlecraft for reference. Uh, I'll link the description. I'll, I'll link it in the description uh, or remind me in the comments and I'll put it there. But but these are pretty standard. I believe Waddles makes, makes a farm like this as well. This is just me making it look nicer. Really, this is the first attempt at locking down a final overall aesthetic for the base. I want it to be bright and alive. Positive vibes only. So I finished my farm. This is the, uh, you know, the outside of it. It's not really meant to look like anything. It's not meant to look like a house or anything. It's really supposed to be sculptural. It's a, it's just a little piece of art. You can kind of see the farm on the inside. I'll put a uh, link in the description. But here's what I did. I, I have potatoes on the top layer, and I have carrots on the bottom layer, and. This is working pretty good. So the bottom is carrots, and I'm gonna use these uh, to get emeralds. So I've got a carrot farmer in here, and his workstation is right next to him. So what I'm gonna do is I'll be coming back here, selling his own carrots back to him, and then having him sell me golden carrots with the emeralds. Yeah. Uh, the upper farm, the potato farm, leads to this chest and it's actually a bone meal farm it's a pretty slow one but i think over time this will fill up um so instead of instead of the crops going into a chest they're going into a composter and then then coming into this chest so it's both it's it's bone meal it's emeralds it's xp it's pretty useful I like the overall aesthetic. The trees on top are gonna to be custom. I've gotten in the habit of just planting trees and then going in and using their the same logs and leaves to create, to kind of customize it. I just want to adjust the leaves a little bit, kind of make it my own. I'd like to put some lights up here. Uh, what's next? All right, we're kind of getting there. Uh, this is good, it's a good start. Um, customize the trees. I think next episode is going to be the big push. Now that I've got a few farms, I'm going to get a few more in along this uh, ridge here and complete the, com the transformation. I'm going to terraform all of this, the rest of this, and I want to put this walkway, uh, these sort of walkways in. I'm not sure if they're going to be sandstone. But the last thing I want to do today is spruce up the fields around my village. I make a little pond for the horses to swim in, just cleaning up the area. I want to extend these walls, but more important is the field between the village and the chasm. I really need to connect the two while finishing the village transformation. One of the ways I do this is by planting crops so the fields look like they're uh, being used. I will never spend any time here. It's more for the overhead visual, like when I'm flying by. But that's important. It feels alive and inviting. I told you I get sidetracked easily. I found these azalea trees while searching for flowers, and I had to explore. This is the first lush cave I've found. I will have to come back and explore later. Maybe even find some axolotls. 
back to my fields. They are mostly finished. I've planted some regular Minecraft trees around the place, but I want to make one large custom tree as a focal point, directly between the village and the chasm. I begin with a standard dark oak planted where I want the tree to be. This helps me visualize its presence here. I adjust the trunk like so, stripping the bark and reshaping it. Then I added fence posts and glass panes. Honestly, in retrospect, I could have added more. They are essential for imitating smaller branches within the canopy. Dark oak slabs for, uh, for like a transition here. Let's take a look. It resembles a tree if you squint. Or like if you close your eyes completely and imagine a tree, that works even better. Mangrove roots fit in nicely here. I have to remember this, I should have used more of these. Okay, the tree form is finished and it's time to place the leaves down. This is what's going to complete the illusion and make it actually look like a tree. Okay, so the tree is done, and at night, it looks pretty dark, so let's add some lights. I'm just going to do the classic lanterns on chains hanging down. I like it, okay. Uh, maybe a couple more, maybe one here. And then maybe one up on the top here. I'm missing so much of the scaffolding. Uh, I used to have 60. I'm missing eight scaffolding. There's probably some in the tree somewhere that I've already, honestly, I've already despawned. Um, how does it look from down below? Uh, not too bad. It could actually use some more, maybe a few more lanterns. Maybe like one here, one here, but this is just one side. Yeah, it could use, it could use a few more. Hold on. I don't know, it looks pretty good. The whole uh, landscape behind me, I think is finished. I like the shape of the tree. Um, this isn't the greatest angle. Look how much it changes. If you just go to the side, it kind of has this, this movement. It's just a cloud of leaves. It's very, it looks good. You know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time down here. This is my approach to art. I just kind of spray it, you know, random blocks and, and just fill the canvas. If I have a blank canvas, it needs to have something on it. And then I can play with it and then I can move things around. Like I can clean this up a little bit more, tighten it up, make it more organized. But I don't think I want to. The whole point of this transformation of the field is just so that when I'm flying into my main base which is going to be the chasm that there's a connection between like a visual and physical connection between the town and the chasm just some eye candy should I breed some bees while I'm here are there any others out oh there is okay here come here you and you. Let me introduce you to each other. This is Gary. He's a handsome boy. Oh, you already made a baby. Wow, okay. I, I didn't even finish introducing you. You are fast. Uh, as I was saying, oh, that does look good. One, uh, that one lantern hanging off to the side there. Uh, this is kind of... This is kind of typical. I didn't really, I just wanted it to look like an oak tree in the middle of a field, and I think it works. Um, the lanterns help. They add this sort of like magical kind of like vibe. Uh, but this is, that's a good view. Um, this is just meant for background, uh, just a background visual. <laughs> There's a guy on a ledge over there. Uh, 
this is just meant for the back, you know, something to look at in the background. You can't even really see it from down here. Uh, maybe from here you can see it. Yeah, it just kind of peeks up over the cliff, but that's what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly where I needed it to be. Uh, and it's time to shift my focus now into the chasm. And by shifting my focus in the chasm, what I mean is doing things outside of the chasm, like exploring this massive lush cave, making new friends that can double as stylish headwear, saving villagers from a miserable existence. I'm kidding, he's doomed. Either way, I hope you join me again while I avoid making human contact in the real world. Like and subscribe and take care.